Hi, my name is Larry Ann Eustace. I'm a first year student in college in the photography program. I'm creating this tutorial to walk you through my photographer's workflow for my schoolwork, which is how I manage all of my data from capturing to exporting the image. I'm going to show you my workflow by importing my images from an assignment I shot this weekend. To start, I will show you my data management structure. This is a diagram of how I back up all of my files. My Lightroom catalog, along with my DNG files, live on my Mac laptop. I have one external hard drive that is partitioned for Time Machine and my raw backup files. I'll update this hard drive weekly. I have a second external hard drive that is used just for my DNG backups that I'll update daily. I will also back up my raw and DNG backups on SpiderOak, which is a tool to back up my files online. I will update my SpiderOak weekly. Now I will show you my folder structure which I can locate on my desktop. In my Lightroom folder is where I can find my school images folder. Inside is where I keep my assignments. The folders are numbered in chronological order and beside the number is the name of the assignment. But for this assignment there is an instructed format as you can see here. This is the folder where my assignment will be imported to. I also have a folder called In Class Practices where I can store all my practice images done in class. So now I will go into Lightroom and import my photos. I have my memory card already inserted so I will click import in Lightroom. If you're on a Mac, when you first insert your card your photos will show up on iPhoto. Just close that and continue into Lightroom. So now that I've clicked on import, I make sure that the correct source is selected. Then at the top I want to make sure copy as DNG is highlighted too. Then I look through all of my photos and select the photos taken for my depth of field assignment which is done down here. Here at the bottom it says import preset. I have a preset made so that all the correct settings for importing are already chosen. I just have to choose the destination. So I will choose my preset called Larian Import. Here on the right side is the file handling panel. All three of these boxes should be checked off. The third one here I have set up so that a second copy of my raw files will be sent to a folder on my desktop called School Raw Backup. In the metadata panel called Apply During Import, I have made a preset for my copyright already in there called Larry Ann Copyright. Then below in the destination panel, I choose the folder where I want my images imported to. So I will go to Lightroom, School Images, and I'll find my assignment folder here. And now I'm ready to start importing. While my images are importing, I'll show you my image rating system. Right now, for where I am in this course, I've made my system to be very simple. I'm using a flag rating system where I'll give an image a reject flag if it's no good and a pick flag if it's portfolio worthy. So now that my images are imported, I'll look through them and see which ones I want to keep. I'll press E to go into loop view so I can see a large individual image of the one selected. Now here I have three of the same images. So what I'll do is in the film strip, I'll click the first one and hold down shift and then click the third one. And then I'll go into survey view by clicking this right here. Now I can look at all three images to compare. I decide that I want to keep all three for right now so I'll move on to the next image and go back into loop view by pressing E on the keyboard. Now I'm going to name my files. Because I'm doing this tutorial on my schoolwork, the file naming convention depends on what's instructed by the professor. For this assignment, it has to be last name, first name, and shot sequence. So I will do that by selecting the first image and clicking the function key and F2 and now I can type in the proper name.
Here on the left side is the collections panel where you can see my collection set called portfolio. Inside of it, I have a smart collection called year one. I've made the settings for this so that if I pick flag an image, it will appear in this smart collection. So let's say I really like this image that's selected here now and I decided I wanted it in my portfolio. I can either go here in the toolbar and select the pick flag or I can simply just press P on the keyboard. Now this image will appear in my year one smart collection. For what I'm doing right now, I don't need to export any images. So I finished the process of my workflow. This concludes my tutorial. Thanks for watching my photographer's workflow.